So we know the Army has the largest rotorcraft fleet, and they've recently uh, proposed a major restructuring effort. So most of the attention uh, of this uh, restructuring effort relates to how it's going to affect the National Guard. Um, and what do you think this means for the industry on a broader basis? No, I'm, I'm, I'm sympathetic towards the Army's efforts to, to restructure. It seems to me that mm -hmm. given the requirements for flying the, uh, the Apache Echo and, uh, and of course, the, uh, the mission itself, I'm not really sure I saw that as a National Guard machine, mm -hmm. especially if you're limited to 700 deployable platforms or something like that. So I understand completely why they'd want to move more of the light utility and utility mission to National Guard instead of that. This makes an awful lot of sense to me. Mm -hmm. But so if this initi initiative uh, manages to go forward, what do you think, how do you think it'll play out? Well, it, it, that's, that's an excellent question because you have to ask yourself, you know, how do National Guard machines get funded? Well, mm -hmm. they're even more cost sensitive than the regular mm -hmm. Army. The idea that they're going to go from, say, a $16 million, $17 million Black Hog squad carrier to something that costs more like 23, 24, and they can fly fewer hours because it costs more to operate, um, that's a real stretch for these guys. So I think they have to face a future which involves a significant scale down. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for this interview. Pleasure, thank you. Bye.